doctors. I really need to ask you something. Uh, hold on, hold on, just a second. Okay, I really need to talk to you about my itchy vagina. It itches, and it burns, and well, I, I want to know what to do about it, because it's really embarrassing. And that was Diana, who is now back in our procedure room with Dr. Lisa. How are y'all doing back there? We're doing great, Travis. We just finished up her exam. And um, as you know, what you were complaining about, what, itchiness? Mm -hmm. and, and a little bit of burn and dryness. Yeah, dryness. And also pain with intercourse, right? Mm -hmm. Very painful to the point where you weren't having intercourse anymore, mm -hmm. right? And that happens to a lot of women, especially around the time of menopause. So one of the things that I was thinking about when she said itchy and dry was, you know, how old was she? Was she in menopause? Um, did she have any infections? Did you have any discharge that was really abnormal? A little bit. Just a little bit? Like sometimes once a month, you know. Once a it's month? It's almost like you're having a period, but it's very weird. S cyclical. Yeah. Okay. And that kind of goes along, too, with her diagnosis of being in menopause, but really the exam. And what that showed was dryness. And the dryness with a sort of uh, a small end vagina opening, what we call the introitus, and that also goes along with the, with the lack of intercourse. But what happens as the vagina gets older and menopause, as it starts to get tight and dry, and that causes the itching. And so, and we also did hormones on uh, Diana, and do you know what your hormones showed? Mm -mm. You are in fact in menopause and your estrogen <sighs> levels are low, but you aren't having any other symptoms of menopause, right? Like a hot flashes, which I found out it's called a power surge for women, which I really love that. So you men, you got to watch out for those ladies' power surges. And um, you weren't having any real mood swings or any other of the symptoms. <laughs> Only my normal ones. Only your normal ones. Okay. So the question then is, what we need to do is replace the estrogen that she's lacking when going through menopause. Now, we can do this either systemically with hormone replacement or just at the problem that she's having right now, vaginally. So you can do this with vaginal estrogen creams like Vagifem or you can do this with hormone replacement therapy. Since this is her only symptom, it's really indicated to just really treat the symptoms that you're having. So mm -hmm. I would say we start with the cream and okay. see if that gets better. It really looks pretty typical of vulvar and vaginal atrophy, um, which goes along with menopause, and the treatment for that is usually topical estrogen. Very good, thank you so much, Diana, for sharing your question with us. Thank you, Dr. Lisa.